Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you my perfume collection. I love perfumes so much. I'm always on the look for new ones. I love smelling them in the shops, finding new ones. So I thought I'd share with you in case you're trying to find your one. I don't actually believe in having a signature scent. I know so many people look for it. I was looking for it for a long time, but you know, your mood is always changing. Sometimes you need a certain scent for a certain feeling and sometimes your outfit doesn't match your perfume so that's why i have so many options so yeah guys if you want to see what i smell like then stay tuned number one we have the carolina herrera good girl this one is a classic so many people love this i was actually in romania when i smelled this for the first time i smelled it in the sephora and then i just kept thinking about it like oh my gosh i need to go back i need to go get it so i bought this there and it's honestly such a sexy smooth like scent that just leaves a trail behind it so so lovely yeah it's like a deep sweet almond scent that is really really smooth and i just love it for nighttime. i love it in general like every day when i want to feel like my sexiest <laughs> next we have the kayali i think that's how you say it utopia scent this is their i think the newest one they have now this one is very very summery like it is a great summer scent it smells like coconut it smells like beach like a very nice holiday scent this for me would be a daytime scent and i've also found that it's a great like base scent if you're someone that layers your perfumes like i do then this goes well with so many and it's a good like Mixture between feminine with a hint of masculine. Kayali do really, really, really good perfumes. Like they last a long time. And if you wanna find like a brand that does a good like musk or like sandalwood scent, but still a bit of feminine, then they are great. Now the other Kayali perfume I have is the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. I think this was the one they released before the vanilla cocoa one and this one's very very different to that one this one is like a spicy deeper scent like if you prefer like stronger smells then this one is a better option it's much more masculine in my opinion um but even together they work very very well i've worn both together because this one's so like smooth and sweet um it complements this one very very well now this one is my most recent one i actually bought this like two days ago um because i needed to waste time again i don't know how to pronounce the brand it's by redo by redo i don't know but yeah i've seen this brand everywhere i've seen so many people try the gypsy water i think it's called and a lot of people have like so many perfumes by them i don't have any so i thought let me just pop by the shop and see what the fuss is about and i didn't actually like gypsy water um so I was a bit like, okay. And the one I picked is the Bal d'Afrique um, one. I think I really butchered how I pronounced that. But this one, let me tell you about this one. The reason why I chose this is because it brings back so many memories for me. It reminds me of my aunties, which sounds really, really weird. Like, so unique to me. It's like the most unique I think I have in my collection. When I smelled it, I was just like, wow. Like, I don't know where I've smelled this before but it's bringing back a lot of like memories to me. So I thought I need to buy this. I also remember reading it has like such unique ingredients that I think is the reason why I don't have anything that smells like that in my collection. Um, but yeah, I also really liked how it uh, mixed with my natural scent because obviously sometimes perfumes just don't smell good on you, but they smell good on other people. But um, I let it sit on my skin before I bought it and it smelled really, really nice. So I'm very, very happy with this and I bought the smallest size because this is the thing, I bought the smallest size because I have so many perfumes that before I used to buy like the biggest size because I was so obsessed with the smell but I realised I can't wear all these smells and it's just a waste of money if I keep buying the biggest size so I started buying the smallest ones so I can actually use the perfumes. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very happy with this one. There was also the Blanc, Blanche one the white one that they recently launched that was very very nice as well it's actually tied between those two um i'll probably go back for that one but yeah do have a smell of this one if you do um go into the store and want to like find a smell now this one is one i wanted for so so long and it's actually i think one of my favorites it's the tom ford soleil blanc and this is literally the epitome of summer i cannot it's very different to the kayali one it's more like like this, when I when I smell it, I literally 
imagine holidays <laughs> it is so smooth it's so fresh so summery still very sexy i think it's one of their best ones tom ford usually do like very heavy like perfumes they do like oud they do like just heavy scents and this one is i think quite different for them it's quite smooth and it's not masculine at all it's got tonka bean as a base note and i realized in all my scents most of them have tonka bean in it so i think that's like my favorite scent and base note in perfumes but yeah this is a very very sexy scent and i would wear this like day night evening morning just sometimes i wear it to bed because i just like smelling fresh this is a very fresh smell this one is a twist on the classic this is a daisy mark jacobs but this is the intense version the normal one i didn't really like um so when i smelled the intense i was like oh, okay this is more me and I usually find that the intense versions are what I usually like more than the originals. This again is like summer but it's summer in a different way to the Tom Ford one. This one reminds me more of a summer evening like the dinners on like the beach that you go on on holidays. It's much more, um, it's a deeper scent than the Tom Ford and a deeper scent to the original Daisy if that makes sense. So again very very smooth. I love like smooth scents. Ones that just feel like not too sharp i don't like sharp smells um but yeah this is literally a perfect scent for a sunny summer's day evening dinner <laughs> next we have the bottega illusion scent this one is another spicy one but it's like a floral woody spicy smell yeah this one stays on your skin for a very very long time sometimes i've worn jackets where i can still smell this on it and yeah when i smoked for the first time i was like that is so, it's such a weird smell, like it's very, very different in my, like I'd never smelled something like that before, um, so I had to buy it, and yeah, this one is more of a nighttime for me because it's just like, you know when perfumes just give you nighttime vibes, this is what it, like, when I say nighttime and daytime, that's what I mean, like, I could just imagine myself wearing this at night more than daytime because i feel like daytime needs to be a bit more smoother a bit like fresher oh yeah and this one also has tonka bean in it so again i had to like it i didn't know this when i was buying it but then i got home looked into it and yeah it had tonka bean in it too <laughs> then we have this unique bottle by um lancome and it's the idle one but this is the intense one again you know i love my intense this one is a floral scent now me i don't usually like floral scents like those ones that are just pure flowers in a bottle, that's not really me. I like a masculine hint in there somewhere. Um, but I was very, very shocked that I actually did like this one. It is a very clean floral scent. It's not one of those like headache floral scents. I really don't like those. But this one's very smooth and clean and fresh. So this is a great option if you want to find a floral that isn't like sickening so yeah it has a rose in it but it's not a headache rose it's actually a nice rose <laughs> next we've got a more feminine one again this is the chanel mademoiselle coco but intense the woman when she was making me smell all of them she didn't tell me i was like don't tell me which ones it is because i already know i probably lean towards the intense so she didn't and then she made me smell all of them and naturally i just preferred the intense <laughs> um but yeah this is another very floral feminine one from what i remember from the smelling this was again deeper much more intense version of the normal one it's just very very sexy like very it's a really nice sexy daytime scent the reason why i like this one is because it has like the floral the rose scent in there but it's got like a woody smell as well and it's very very well balanced and it's a good mixture between the two it's not like overpowering on either side so that's why i really really liked it for daytime and for a floral scent and yeah i must say this is like one of my most complimented um scents like when i wear it a lot of people compliment how i smell so if you want to leave that trail and it really does leave that trail behind you when you walk then this is a great great perfume next we've got this mini perfume this is actually one of my most used and it's one of my favorites i think this is like up there it's the lilabo another 13 cent and the reason why i got the small one is because i travel quite a bit like away from my house so i wanted like a perfume that could be in my bag but still smell nice and this was like perfect it's got my name on it and everything it's got my name at the bottom when i got it and stuff and i'm pretty much nearly done with it <laughs> you know how i said the other ones really stay on for a long time <laughs> The Labo scents and perfumes, they last like 
no other they literally last hours and you need the smallest amount they are so concentrated and like everyone knows the sand towel one i didn't want to get sand towel because everyone has that but another 13 was my next favorite and i also like the rose one i did like the rose one but this is the one that had my heart but yeah they're all unisex i think they're much more masculine like if you're into deeper more masculine scents then the labo has the scents for you and at first it's very very strong like when you put it on you're like oh but then it smooths out over time and you can't really smell it you can smell yourself but it's not like headache <laughs> and i don't like that so yeah this is one of my most used and it's the smallest one <laughs> now this one is my cheapest um perfume it's the zara amber fusion it's my cheapest but honestly it is up there with the most expensive ones i have the concentration and the smell of this is so expensive and it lasts for such a long time as the name suggests it is amber heavy like it's a very amber smell but it's still got a hint of sweetness it's not like crazy but it's very sharp like i just smell it and <laughs> it's very strong don't sleep on zara perfumes guys honestly like zara perfumes they have so many dupes i don't know what dupe this is like, I don't know what the original perfume they copied is, but it's very, very nice. It's a great, great perfume. <laughs> now we've got the classic YSL Libre perfumes, both about the cats because I've lost the cats. <laughs> but yeah, the whole thing behind these perfumes is about feeling sexy, feeling empowered and stuff. And they do feel very sexy, like they're great perfumes. They're quite a bold smell and actually if you put too much of it on it does give you a headache. I've worn it a lot so I know how it feels when you put on too much. It's really really strong. But yeah it's got orange blossom in it so again it's not like a sickening floral smell. It's very very nice actually. It feels a bit masculine but this one is definitely the more smoother bold smell and then the intense version which i think is my favorite out of the two it's a much sexier smell as you can imagine <laughs> this one is much much richer and they both actually have two different base notes and i think that really did make a difference of course um but yeah they both smell quite different if you're more into like sexy masculine smells then this one is for you if you're into bolder like stronger scents then the normal one is for you again another classic that so many people love i think this is one of my first perfumes that i like invested in it's the black opium by ysl this is a sweet floral scent you just feel sexy when you wear it and it's carried me through some good times. <laughs> this one is probably my most impulsive buy and probably one I actually regret buying. It's the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt scent. I bought this in Romania at Duty Free because I was bored. In the shop it smelled very nice to me but then when I got back to England I was like, Ooh, I'm not too, I'm not too sure about this one. <laughs> yeah, it's a very subjective one and again, I don't know why I bought the biggest size um, because as you can see, this is how much I've worn of it. Like, not that much. Um, I've had people say it smells like old people. It has a very weird smell to it. <laughs> don't get me wrong though, it's still like a nice smell. It smells very fresh. It smells like the ocean, kind of. Um, but it's just not one I grab for. Like, it's not at the top of my list. Um, if I was to go back to Jo Malone, I'd probably buy the Tonka one. Yeah, this one's okay. It's not my favourite. <laughs> the final perfume, you probably recognise the bottle. It's another very favourite bestseller out there. It's the Lancome La Vie est Belle. Um, it's a favourite. So many people have this. At first, I didn't like it because it was so floral it's so sweet but it's definitely grown on me um but it's also as floral as i will get in perfumes it's probably my most floral one i have but it's very very nice i think over time like the scent it leaves is very nice but at first it's very very strong for me like when i put it on my body um but yeah it's really really nice summer fresh scent i'm gonna add in these few bits just before i end these are like perfumes but for different things this is a kaali hair mist in deja vu deja vu is also a really really nice scent honestly kaali scents they always get it bang on like they have one for every mood i think and i like all the scents i've smelled so yeah this is a hair mist and it leaves your hair smelling so good it just leaves a nice trail you can always just put your perfume in your hair but yeah this is if you want to be a bit more 
extra. <laughs> then I have another hair perfume by this brand. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this smells like fresh, clean, sweet goodness. It just smells nice. It's a perfect hair um, perfume for me, not for body that much. Sometimes I wear it to bed on my body, but it's not like a daytime scent. It's a great hair scent and it smells very bubbly, like clean, fresh. <laughs> it smells very sweet because it has honey in it. So yeah, it smells like soap kind of, almost, yeah. <laughs> so yeah guys, that was my perfume collection and all my faves. I hope you guys enjoyed this. My collection is ever growing. I'm always adding to it, finding new ones I like. If you have any that you absolutely love and you think I'd like, as I said, I like masculine smells, like deep, like ouds, sandalwoods, musks mostly. Um, if you have any that you use, then please let me know. I'd love to smell some new ones. But in the meantime, if you're in the shop, then have a smell for any of those that I mentioned and you might find a new fave. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.